Often referred to as the unicorn of the sea, the narwhal is a medium-sized toothed whale distinct in its appearance, sounds, and swimming patterns. These oceanic animals are most notable for their protruding teeth, which many often mistake as horns, but are, in fact, tusks. Spiraled, left-sided, and long, these tusks have been the narwhal's most attractive and peculiar feature, as well as the source of their endangerment. Wondering how is this possible? Stick around to the end of this documentary video and you'll learn some amazing facts about these northernmost whales. Belonging to the same family as beluga whales, the narwhal is also related to bottlenose dolphins, orcas, and harbor porpoises. The Icelandic name narwhal, or narwhal, as some would often prefer, literally means corpse whale. This is because the narwhal often swims with its belly up and sometimes lies so still you'll think it's dead. Coupled with this is its pale, corpse-like color. The older narwhals get, the whiter they become. Its Greek scientific name, monodon monoceros, is a phrase that means one tooth, one horn, referring to its long spiral tusk and the animal's second tooth, which is often underdeveloped. Essentially, all narwhals, male or female, have two teeth in their upper jaw. However, male narwhals are the only ones who often grow the visible, distinctively long tusks, while the female's teeth are usually vestigial or underdeveloped. About 15% of female narwhals also grow tusks, but not as long as the males. In every 500 male narwhals, there is one with two tusks. They are rare, but they exist. We'll discuss these tusks' interesting functions and facts later in this video, but for now, let's examine the size and weight of the narwhal. If we do not consider the length of the tusks, Narwhals are about the same size as an adult beluga whale. Male narwhals are often proportionately larger than females. Narwhals measure between 13 and 18 feet, or 4 to 5.5 meters, excluding the tusk. The tusk alone measures between 5 and 10 feet, or about 1.5 to 3 meters. In terms of weight, Male narwhals can weigh up to 1,600 kilograms, about 3,500 pounds, while females are often about half as heavy as their male counterparts. The tusk alone weighs about 10 kilograms, or 22 pounds. Having examined the size and weight, where do narwhals live? Narwhals are the northernmost living whales on Earth. They live predominantly within the Arctic and the Atlantic Ocean. They are rarely ever seen in the Pacific Ocean, but prefer the frigid waters surrounding Greenland, the Canadian Arctic Archipelago, Svalbard, and Russia. In summer, narwhals would often inhabit coastal waters. They would migrate to deeper waters in winter, congregating around ice packs. During winter, they often dive deep to depths of up to 1,500 meters, about 5,000 feet. They do this more than 15 times daily, spending about 25 minutes submerged each time they dive. This includes the time they spend on the ocean's floor and the time it takes to dive down and come back up. To reduce the time it takes to get to the ocean floor, they would often dive vertically as they speed through the freezing waters with their long tusks, making them look like a torpedo. Narwhals are long-lived animals, like many other oceanic mammals like sperm whales, beluga whales, and whales in general. On average, narwhals live to be half a century old. According to Britannica, the longest-lived narwhals live well over a century, some individuals live to be 125 years old. Narwhals are predators which feed on cuttlefish, shrimp, codfish, squid, Greenland halibut, caplin, skate eggs, and wolffish. Their long teeth, which are in the form of tusks, are of no use in biting, cutting, 
tearing or chewing prey. As a result, they feed on prey by moving close to the prey and sucking it in with great force, swallowing the prey whole. Rather than being an actual tooth functional for use in feeding, the narwhal's tusks have different purposes, which are still a subject of debate and research. Some researchers argue that the long tusk of this marine animal is often used to stun and impale prey such as fishes. Some researchers also believe that narwhals use their tusks to poke through the ice. However, some other researchers argue that the tusks could be fatally infected if damaged in the process of impaling or stunning prey. Instead, they propose that these tusks have nerve endings that help the narwhal determine the temperature, salinity, pressure, and other chemical composition and changes in the water. When two or more narwhals rub tusks against one another, a process known as tusking, the narwhals are said to be able to share information about the ocean's current and salinity. Tusking is also considered a form of social practice through which new relationships are made and old ones are preserved. It is also a means by which narwhals determine social dominance. Some scientists have also proposed that the tusk is used in sexual displays or mating rites. These tusks often grow from the narwhal's left side as it is an extension of the left tooth located on the upper jaw. It grows right through the upper lip in a helix spiraled fashion. Does the narwhal have natural predators? They do have a limited number of predators. They live so far up north in extremely frigid waters and are very elusive, so it's no wonder they have few predators. The primary natural predator of narwhals is the polar bear, which would often attack them at designated breathing holes. When narwhals become trapped by ice packs in their search for a suitable watering hole, polar bears take advantage by hunting the helpless animals. The largest entrapment ever recorded occurred in West Greenland in 1915, when more than 1,000 narwhals were trapped by pack ice. Other notable natural predators include orcas and walruses. Narwhals are generally easy prey in summer, as this is the time when large groups of between 10 and 50 are common. There are even larger congregations numbering more than a thousand. Another reason why narwhals are easy targets for orcas and polar bears is that they often get entrapped in ice packs. Then they need to stay submerged, hiding deep under the ice packs. This sometimes results in drowning if they stay submerged for too long without surfacing to breathe. The greatest natural predator of narwhals, however, are humans. The Inuit people of Canada, in particular, hunt the narwhal for its ivory tusk, as it is often incorporated into traditional medicine, and for its skin, which is very rich in vitamin C. The tusk of the narwhal is so high-priced to the extent that Queen Elizabeth I is said to have bought a narwhal tusk for 10,000 pounds. This is equal to 2 million pounds in today's value. The International Union for the Conservation of Nature IUCN, lists the narwhal as nearly threatened, with an estimated global population pegged at somewhere between 50,000 and 80,000 individuals. There is a legal subsistence hunting of narwhals in Greenland and Canada by indigenous communities of these two areas. They are not endangered, but could become it if care is not taken. There has never been a record of narwhals attacking or eating a human being. They are naturally reclusive and rarely seen. Narwhals are unique marine animals. Just about everything about them is unique. Their vocal attitude of squeaking and making clicking sounds, their long, overgrown left tooth, their pale colored palate, and their death-simulating behavior of lying so still with their belly up are some of the distinctive features of these creatures. They really are a sight to see, and you should count yourself lucky if you ever come across one, because they are a rare sight indeed. 
If you're interested in more exciting videos about the most fascinating animals on our planet, then click on this playlist to watch all related videos. You can also subscribe to this channel if you don't want to miss any new videos.